Okay, let me narrow it down to make it simpler for you. So you have days when you just don't feel like studying at all, right? Then there are days when you think that you want to study. So there is a wish for studying. And then finally, there are days when you actually come and attend the classes and sincerely sit and study. So much of diversity, so much of change in behavior, isn't it? This is explained successfully by a model in psychology called the trans theoretical model. It talks about stages of behavior change. Basically, it says that if an individual has made a decision and has a strong intent towards changing a certain behavior, he or she can do so. But this change in behavior, especially habitual behavior, happens through a cyclical process. And this cycle consists of six stages. The six stages of behavior change and this is what you want to know. Stage number one is pre-contemplation. It is the stage of unawareness. So let's say I take the example of the new series which has been very recently launched, Crack J 2024. If you are in this stage, it means that you are completely unaware that such a series even exists. And the idea of you attending this series has not even crossed your mind once. This means you are in a state of ignorance that is pre-contemplation. Now, second stage is contemplation. This is when you have the knowledge about such a series going on and you are thinking whether you should give it a shot. Okay, so in this stage, you are actually judging the pros and the cons of you attending the classes in this series. You are trying to think what will be the benefits in the long term? What are the challenges that you might have to face? So basically, this is a thought giving stage contemplation. At number three is the preparation or determination stage. This is when you are finally ready to make that change. This is when you've made the decision to join the series and you are fully committed and highly motivated to join the classes and learn from there. So what do you do? You subscribe to the channel, you start following it thoroughly to keep yourself updated about the timings and the topics of the classes. You plan to keep separate notebooks for separate subjects. All this falls under preparation stage and this is one of the most crucial stages to ensure success of behavior change. The next one is the most impactful, action stage. So all the strategies which you've made in the preparation stage, you bring them to use in the action stage in order to start a better, a new, a healthier behavior. So all the students who are already a part of the Crack J 2024 series and you are religiously attending all the sessions that have been conducted so far, you guys, congratulations, are in the action stage. Now next is the maintenance stage, one of the most difficult ones. You already know consistency is the ultimate key. So attending each and every session, each and every class as and when it is happening, week after week, month after month, that requires willpower, that requires discipline. Because you always have a choice of not turning up for the next class. You always have a choice to slip back to what you were before you started this series. You know, all those old habits and old behaviors, right? And that's why to ensure that you do not fail, it is suggested that you keep small rewards for yourself. Or you can take some external help as well, say your friend. So he or she, he texts you uh, whenever there's a class scheduled to happen and then you both can attend it together. That will ensure that you are attending the classes regularly. But you know what? There will definitely come a day when you will not feel like attending any class. Or let's say you will prioritize some other task or some other activity and you will completely sideline this class. This is relapse, stage number six. Relapse occurs when there is a gap in the continuity of a habit that you are wanting to develop. You know what? All our behavioral responses revolve around these six stages. But the major takeaway is that the moment you realize you are in the relapse stage, 
you have to take a conscious effort to snap out of it as soon as possible. See, understand it's very natural for all of us to reach relapse. We're all humans, right? But the target is to not spend much time there. The target is to bounce back quickly and either reach the preparation stage or the action stage. Say for example, you missed today's class. Okay, now you know deep within your heart that you should have come for today's class. But for whatever reason, you were not able to. So you should make a point to watch the recorded session the next day itself. Don't delay it much guys because if you spend a lot of time in the relapse stage, what it will do, it will take you back to the pre-contemplation or the contemplation stage which is step zero. So you will have to start from scratch again. So again you'll have to think on why you should attend the series and by the time you start all your peers would have moved way ahead in the game. That's psychology. I have been trapped into this and that's why I decided to come here and share this with you so that you don't fall in its trap. Remember to be regular for your classes guys and if for whatever reason this regularity breaks and you enter relapse, make sure to bounce back quickly. Make sure to bounce back faster because at the end of the day, it's only you who can master your behavior theory. All the best. I'll see you soon.